Well, this could be a game changer come flu season. Researchers are now working on a vaccine that could protect against a wide variety of flu strains long term. And that could mean people wouldn't have to get a flu shot every year. The National Institutes of Health is getting ready for an early stage clinical trial to test this out. So joining us to talk about this and our other health headlines today, Dr. Bill Hartman, principal investigator for the UW Health Pediatric Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trial. Doc, tell us more about this universal flu vaccine. Well, this is, this is probably, for me, the most exciting story of the week. The... Uh, Universal flu vaccine is targeted towards a very common form of the of the flu virus. And so it's able to attack many different strands, up to 20 different strands of the, the flu virus, which there's only four really that, that attack humans. And so this will attack all the, the potential influenza viruses that could harm a, harm a person. You know, this is still a, a virus that kills up to 50,000 people uh, every year. And so the great thing about this is that it's universal and is probably going to uh, really only have to be administered once every couple of years, uh, and people will have adequate protection for a long time. That is crazy. I mean, it, you know, we know the flu changes so often that we do need that shot every year. I know they've been working on this for a really long time. They've never been able to make it work. Why now? What's, what's making this possible that they'll be able to move forward with the clinical trial? Well, you know, it, going back into how they've uh, attacked the, the COVID virus with using these mRNA vaccines, the mRNA is really a game changer here because you can start with the most basic of the genetic material and work your way up from there. And so going down to this, this basic mRNA, you're able to uh, induce your body to form antibodies against the, the epitopes, the, the parts of the virus that, that can be attacked. And in this case, it's the most common form of influenza, which really is a game changer. Yeah, that is a trial we'll be watching closely. Hey, I want to ask you about this because U.S. lawmakers, they're sounding the alarm. Not enough doctors out there. Yeah, you know, we're, we're feeling this now. Uh, the hospitals everywhere are feeling the, the shortages of doctors, of nurses, of healthcare providers in general. Uh, this is concerning now because uh, the national shortage is probably about 17,000 fewer doctors than, than, than what we need. Um, but in the next 10 years, they expect that number to increase tenfold up to somewhere around 130,000 uh, physicians not uh, trained to, to be able to, to meet, the, meet the market, meet the demand. And a real concern with minority doctors, too, only making up about 5% of the workforce. Uh, hey, quickly here, while we're running out of time, I don't know if you've looked out the window, but that's not clouds out the window. That's wildfire smoke coming in from Canada. And we actually have a warning put out from the Department of Natural Resources that this might affect people, especially tomorrow morning. Who would be most affected by wildfire smoke? So the people most sensitive to the wildfire smoke are people who have some sort of a lung disease already. So if you have a reactive airway disease like asthma or more of a parenchymal disease like COPD, uh, something that you use inhalers for, uh, those are the people that uh, really can be affected by the triggers in, in all of the smoke. And for, for now, at least until tomorrow midnight when this advisory goes away, those people uh, might want to consider staying at home with their windows and their doors closed. And if they do have to go outside, make sure that they have their, their inhalers available so that they can treat if any of those triggers cause an attack. We get no breaks here in Wisconsin. My allergies have been killing me with all this pollen. And now we get to blame Canada for this as all their wildfire smoke is blowing our way. Dr. Bill Hartman, lots of great topics there. So many interesting things. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Ben.